Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial we're going to cover numbers up to 50 and we're going to do addition questions. So numbers up to 50 and addition questions. So let's have a look at our first example. Suppose you have this question, 24 plus something equals 42. So 24 plus something equals 42. How would you do this? Well, there are several different methods. We're going to use what we call the step method, where we're going to count from 24 up to 42. So let's start firstly by writing the number down 24. So we're starting at 24 and we're going to end at 42. What number do we have to add to 24 to get to 42? Well the step process is, or well, the step method, first of all we get from 24 to 30. And then from 30 we get to 40. And then from 40, we get to 42. So there are three steps in this process. Now again, this question is quite simple, but once you learn the step method, you'll be able to do similar questions, but with much larger numbers. So let's have a look at this. Now 24 to 30. 24 to 30. What number added to 24 gives 30? To make this even simpler, we're going from 24 to 30. Well, we know that whatever number we add to the 4, it's going to turn this 2 into a 3. So what it really is, is what number goes from 4 to 10? So what number do we have to add to the 4 to get to 10? Well, the answer is 6. So we can write down 6 over here. Now 30 to 40, well, that's quite easy. That's 10. And 40 to 42 is 2. Now we can add these three numbers together and we'll get our answer. 6 plus 10 plus 2. We can even do this and make this even simpler by... When you do this, write the 6 over here, which is correct. Instead of writing down 10 over here, you can just add the 10 to the 6. So this becomes 16. This way you can just keep adding and making it quite simple. And 16, you add the 2 and you get 18. And that is our answer, 18. Let's write that down. And let's have a look at this again. The question was 24 plus something equals 42. So we went from 24, and we went from 24 to 30, 30 to 40, the first 24 to 30 was 6, 30 to 40 was another 10, so 6 plus 10 is 16, and then we went from 40 to 42, where we added 2 more, so we got 18. It looks very complicated, but it is actually very, very simple. Now let's have a look at one more example. Now suppose you have the question, something, so we've got the something box at the beginning, plus 31 equals 47. So something plus 31 equals 47. Now how would you do this? Now we're going to use the same method. So let's go to a different color. We start with the number 30, 31. That's in the question. There it is, 31. And we're going to end at 47. So let's write down 47 here. So what number added to 31 gives 47? Now the same thing, we're going to go and use the step method. So 31, we do, what we do first is we go from 31 to 40. And then from 40, we're going to go to 47. Now this one only has two steps. Let's look at the first step. We've got 
31 to 40. So this is effectively 1. What number added to 1 is going to give us 10 and make it 40? So using our number bonds, 1 plus what number will give 10? Well, the answer is quite simple. That's 9. 1 and 9 make 10. So we put down 9 over here. Now let's have a look at the second one. Now the second one is from 40 to 47. Well, that's quite simple. It is 7. What we can do is we can write down the 9 over here and we can write down 9 plus 7 is... What's 9 plus 7? Now using your arithmetic, you should know this. 9 plus 7 is 16. And that is our answer. 16. 16 plus 31 equals 47. And we've used the step method to do both of these questions.